Good morning. So just a nice walk on the beach video that is not mine. It's Creative Commons. So I'll give credit down in the description, but I just want to talk a little bit about, again, seeing some videos on YouTube, some of the kind of tone and subject matter, especially during the new year regarding being carnivore and getting your health back on track, etc. And I noticed an interesting parallel. So I've been working with my daughter um, recently trying to get rid of the word sorry in almost every circumstance. I mean, there's some circumstances where apologizing and saying you're sorry is important, but in the vast majority of the situations that I see her say it, um, and then I even catch myself saying it a lot of times, you're apologizing for yourself or for a situation rather than taking proactive measures to either correct something you did or correct the behavior or correct something you want to correct and getting rid of any kind of guilt or judgment that goes along with sorry so how does that relate to the carnivore diet and some of the kind of new year's themes that i'm seeing so i, I see a lot of people confessing um things online and there's nothing inherently wrong with that and if it's cathartic then that's a great thing i don't i don't judge anybody for doing that but if you look at it from a different perspective i think these are all things the the need to confess or that guilt cycle of doing well falling off the wagon feeling guilt confessing doing well and going in a circle i think we can get caught up in that cycle very easily and it's also tempting to do that um, either to friends or family or if you're YouTube, YouTubing it. And to just have this as something where it's almost permission at some point to use the word sorry or to come clean about something. And again, I've done it. I continue to catch myself doing it in various areas of my life. But going back to me kind of helping my daughter get rid of this word and this feeling of answering to someone else about your own mental health, your own well-being, and feeling guilty about standing up for yourself and saying, this is what's good for me. This is a situation that's good for me. This doesn't serve me. This does serve me. And getting rid of this feeling of I have to apologize for standing up for myself and saying no. I want this, or I choose to do this. So what am I saying about that in terms of carnivore? I'm not saying you should have a donut and say, whatever, I had a donut. You can't judge me. Because that's another way of not being accountable to yourself. What I'm talking about is actually standing up, even to yourself sometimes, and doing what you know is right unapologetically. This is what's good for me. This is what I'm doing. And I'm not going to apologize to anyone, even if I make a mistake. There's no apology to be made. This is what I'm going through, and this is what I will do. And I think for myself, when I get rid of that language, those slip ups happen less and less in every area of my life. It's not that you start to give yourself permission to slip up. It's the exact opposite. Once you start being more bold and taking responsibility for your actions for yourself, those things stop happening. You don't feel the need to confess. And in fact, there's nothing to confess anymore because you've let go of this cycle of, I did something bad and now I need to apologize and correct it that cycle starts to go away entirely. So if you have some issue where you slip up in the diet or you're not quote unquote 100% carnivore, ask yourself, does it matter? What really matters to you? Not because anybody's watching, not because you have to confess it later or you feel like an imposter or a fraud or anything like that. What's important to you? If you're doing a carnivore diet and you say, okay, I'm going to have cheese today on something, 
if that's what serves you, if that would, if that what makes you healthy and feel good, you shouldn't explain that to anyone. You shouldn't feel the need to explain that to anyone. By the same token, if you want to do a lion diet where it's just beef, salt, and water, you also don't have to explain that to anyone. No one needs you to explain you living the best life you can live. Now, this doesn't just apply to the carnivore diet, but I think if you continue on that path with the diet, I think you'll find that it starts expanding into every other area of your life. Fitness, professional, romantic, family, in all areas. I think you'll start to notice, as I have, some patterns in your life where maybe you did things for other people thinking that was good, but you really should have done what's good for you and that's good for those around you. In other words, you being at your best, you feeling your best is the best possible gift that you could give to your wife, your husband, your kids, your parents, your job, everyone around you. You being the best is the best gift to the rest of the world. You cannot save anyone. You cannot help anyone else until you help yourself. And you don't need to apologize for that. So maybe this isn't an issue for you at all. Maybe it's something that stood out to me for whatever reason. I had a very difficult week this week, but I've also been seeing, not diet-wise, but just life-wise, Um, But I've also been seeing this kind of theme in a way go through YouTube as well, especially New Year's resolutions and so much pressure and people doing challenges and all these things. If it's not a problem for you, excellent. Then, Then you're on a great path. But I do see that it's a pervasive thing, even on different levels. It might be a very subtle thing for you. It might not be something at the forefront, but it might be one of those last walls to break down. So um, I just want to talk about it a little bit. I definitely am seeing positive changes in my daughter as she drops that word. And I think for a lot of young girls, this can be an issue about society putting pressure on young women to fit in or to go along or to not stand up for themselves. and I don't want her to fall victim to that. I want her to be strong, respectful, happy, just well-rounded, and be able to be whoever she wants to be. So, And I apply that to myself. I have not done a great job of that earlier in my life when I was younger. So maybe I'm helping give that lesson to my daughter, and hopefully it sticks. Of course, she's going to learn hard lessons herself, and that's totally natural. But maybe just giving her a little bit of a a jump start. So hopefully that was helpful for someone out there, maybe going through the struggles on these first few weeks of a New Year's resolution, or if you're far along in the carnivore diet and you're starting to have stress in your life, excuse me, or temptation and things just aren't going the way you wanted them to, uh, maybe it'll help you. So I definitely get help from watching other people and what they go through, carnivore or not, professionally, People talk about struggles they've had. Um, There's value in hearing what challenges other people go through and how they get through them. So hopefully some of this helps a little bit and hopefully the video helps a little bit so you don't have to stare at my face and uh, you can just listen to the voice and hear the message. So have a great rest of the weekend and I will try to do some more videos this week, although um, things have been kind of stressful and busy. but these videos are good for me too to get my thoughts out. So thanks for listening and please like and subscribe if you can. It definitely helps me out.